that grunting is proven to be beneficial when lifting weights. Especially those super high intensity reps where you're nearing failure, you need all of your might, including I guess your vocal cords. Or maybe it's more about how you regulate your breath when you actually grunt. Well in this video, I'm gonna test that theory and compare my strength on four different exercises to see how much of a difference grunting actually makes. Now if you've taken a look on social media, loud grunting is generally discouraged at commercial gyms. In fact, if you grunt loudly at Planet Fitness, this happens. <laughs> so instead of screaming at the top of my lungs, I actually opted to do this in a much more natural way, where I would only grunt if I naturally felt like doing it. I didn't force it, and in fact, as a way to avoid any placebo effect from doing this, I didn't even know I would be making this video in my grunting clips, because I'm actually gonna be using the footage from my latest creatine video where I was naturally grunting. And today, I'm gonna retest my strength on those four different exercises without making a single noise, not even a peep. I figure it's better to do it this way as my default state is grunting. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna be performing what's known as a rep max using the same exact weight on both days. The idea is we'll see if we get the same amount of reps or a different amount of reps between the grunting and no grunting day. So what we're starting off with is the incline dumbbell bench press using 80 pound dumbbells. Let's see how I did when I was grunting. is standing by. grunting test now. Let's see if I'm able to get all eight reps or maybe more. So not a peep. I think for no grunting, since it's mostly breath based, I'm going to allow myself to, of course, breathe, but I'm not going to verbalize any of my breaths, nor am I going to be being that loud and exhaling in a very strong manner. So I think that's what we're going to consider no grunting. Let's get to it. Dude, that's actually so hard. I'm like trying to stay composed, just like whoop. That's how this went. I suspect maybe pressing exercises are gonna get uh, hindered the most with my breath, that's my guess. So let's move on to second exercise, which is a lat pull down. All right, we're currently a lat pull down. I think I'm warmed up, so. Let's try to take off the pump cover once more and reveal my able wife pleaser. Now incline dumbbell bench press didn't go so well, but I suspect lap pull down is gonna go better. I just have a feeling. So, first off, let me show you guys my grunting clip. Go. Ready to jam enemy UAV. I did pretty well, nine reps at 180 pounds. Let's see if I can match that or 
Perhaps I PR today. Once more, not a peep. Nine, but I felt like I cheated on the seventh rep. I felt like I didn't really get too low. I definitely think not grunting does hinder you. Like, I'm trying to push close to failure, but it's hard to keep up the intensity needed, right, if you're not making any noise. But I'll call that a controversial nine reps. Let's move on to the third exercise, the machine lateral race. And real quick, before we get to the third exercise, I want to announce that Abel is going to be having a site-wide birthday sale in just three days. So on March 25th, you're going to get up to 20% off on men's items, including this new release over here, this tank that I've practically been pretty much living in, as well as up to 60% off on women's items. So if that sounds interesting to you, use code PATH to get that discount. Three days, set a reminder so you're early because I know Able stuff tends to sell out pretty quick. This is probably gonna go pretty quick even though it's a new release. So with that said, let's get back to the video. All right, we've reached the third exercise. This is a machine lateral raise. Let's see how I did when I was grunting. Oof. Not bad, 11 reps, that's a lot of reps to get. Now, we're working with the same 80 pounds here. Once again, no grunting, not a peep. I think this is probably one of the dumbest ideas I've ever come up with, but we'll see how it goes. I think this one, I'm fairly confident I can get 11, just because of how stable the exercise is. Because it's stable and it's not like a pressing exercise necessarily, I think I can kind of inch my way without really making any noise, so let's see how it goes. I don't think that was 11, bro. How I use grunting is I almost use it as like a last gear. So I was kind of caught in this area and if I was able to grunt, I pro I'm pretty sure I probably would have been able to get 11, but because I had to stay silent, couldn't really inch out the last few range of motion, especially up here, so. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm like surprised at how much of an impact this actually makes. Like this is actually making a pretty big impact on my performance. You can say it's fatigue, you can say it's, you know, there's obviously there could be other factors, but Let's move on to the fourth exercise and see, am I gonna go 0 for 4 this time? Fourth exercise is the face away cable bicep curl. Let's see how I did when I was grunting. <sighs> The D0. 
easy. So, once more, I have to get at least 11 reps. We'll see if that happens. Will I be 0 for 4? Ugh. We will find out. All right, not a peep. Grunting versus no grunting. Do you actually gain strength if you grunt? I most certainly say yes you will. And it, you most certainly will be weaker if you avoid and prevent yourself from naturally even breathing out or grunting. So that said, those are my immediate thoughts. Let's go to the outro. All right, now that we're back at the crib and had some time to reflect, I will say that grunting does indeed impact your strength. And even more significantly than I previously thought it would. Going 0 for 4, I did not expect that happening. And in some cases by a pretty wide margin, you guys saw that I was consistently weaker across the board. And I think it has to do with the fact that if I'm not grunting, I'm not able to properly use my breath and brace as I go for a rep, right? Especially on those pressing exercises. On top of that, I think mentally, I felt like by not grunting, I. I felt like I was holding back. Like I wasn't engaged in the actual set I was doing, even though I know there's a camera on me, I know I'm being recorded, I wanna do good, I'm going for a PR, I honestly put all my might into it. But at the end of the day, by not making noise, I just felt like, I'm like, what am I doing? Like By grunting, you're unlocking like, like a final gear where you're able to get in at least one additional rep, you're able to inch that range of motion out. And by taking that away from you, it's it severely cripples your performance. So with that said, I will say grunting is something you should be doing in the gym if you wanna maximize gains, strength, all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching this fun video. I know, you know, take this video for more entertainment purposes, but the end all be all is you should be grunting if you wanna maximize gains. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. Peace.